I know a number of people are going to ask, perhaps are screaming, is drinking good for me in any way? For instance, many people have probably heard that resveratrol is good for people and that red wine is enriched in resveratrol. I hate to break it to you, but the reality is that if indeed resveratrol is good for us, and there's some debate about this, some people say strongly yes, some people say no, other people say maybe, the amount of red wine that one would have to drink in order to get enough resveratrol, in order for it to be health promoting, is so outrageously high that it would surely induce other negative effects that would offset the positive effects of resveratrol. So I wish I could tell you different. Again, I'm not here to be the bearer of bad news, but the statement I just made was confirmed by Dr. David Sinclair when he was a guest on this podcast. It's confirmed by other researchers who work on resveratrol and related pathways. I wish I could tell you that red wine is good for your health. And indeed it might be through some other mechanisms. So for instance, there have been studies of low to moderate red wine consumption. This would be anywhere from one to four glasses per week. And I don't mean enormous glasses, I mean six ounce glasses of red wine. And in those cases, some of the stress reduction that can be induced by consumption of red wine, maybe some of the other micronutrients and components within red wines, in particular red wines that come from particular grapes, and this gets really nuanced and frankly is not well worked out in the peer reviewed literature, certainly not clinical trials, at least not that I'm aware of. Tell me if you're aware of a great clinical trial on this. Well, there may be some positive effects of that very low level of consumption. I'm not trying to take away anybody's red wine. I'm not trying to uh, take away anybody's anything. I would be remiss, however, if I didn't tell you that resveratrol as the argument for drinking and drinking red wine in particular is just not a good one. It's just not supported by the peer reviewed research.